Here with Hinch, 2-1 winners at Whitehawk in the league. Hinch, uh, happy with the result, happy with the performance? Yeah, you've got to be happy with the result, but performance... Um, yeah, I, thought, I thought first half was OK. Like We sort of moved the ball from side to side. Um, I thought uh, the front three were a little bit all over the place. Um, but, yeah, I tried to get them into their shape. And, and when we sort of do get it right, um, you know, it's, it's hard to mark and hard to defend, but there wasn't too many occasions that we did that tonight. Um, you know, we can't blend the surface, but too many passes were going astray, um, unopposed passes going astray. And the most disappointing thing for me was I thought they showed a, um, a deeper hunger and, and passion to go and win the game. Um, you know, that's, I, can, I, can, I can live with people making mistakes on the ball and misplacing passes, but you know, not to have that hunger and that determination and that grit in your eyes to go and win a game of football um, is, is unacceptable. What were your thoughts on Jalen tonight? You know, you brought him into the squad, it was his debut, you must be happy with him getting, yeah. getting his goal and his performance in general. Yeah, I thought his performance was excellent to be fair. Um, there was one time he got one-on-one -on -one at, the, at the back first half and he defended really well. Um, defending a lot of balls coming in the box that he dealt with in the air as well, um, and obviously getting the goal is just a, just a bonus. Um, but we, we can't be relying on Jalen scoring from a set piece and David Edgeboy having one moment of magic um, that we know he can produce uh, to win games of football. Um, we've got to, got to be better. We've got to create more chances. Um, other than Ollie Pierce's one on the six-yard box there, second half. No, we didn't create nowhere near enough again. What all looked dangerous, you know, when they got their goal. What was going through your mind? Was it Margate again? Was, was that the yeah. sort of thing that was going through your head? Yeah, a little bit. Um, uh, I, f I felt a lot more comfortable on Saturday, if I'm honest. Um, at Margate, um, when we was 1 0, I didn't think that was getting near our box. Um, I know, you know, Paul Jude's full credit to him, he set his team up brilliantly today, and he'd be bitterly disappointed not to get anything from the game. Um, probably a draw was a fair reflection of the game, to be honest. Um, but, you know, we just got that player that's got that bit of magic on the day and that's that's all it was. And we don't want to be a team that's relying on that. On the negative side, you know, uh, Jesse pulled up early there and I think Parsons came off later in the second half. Yeah. Any news on them too yet? Yeah, I think it's just both hamstring um, problems. So, you know, it's, it's going to be difficult to tell. Like, Jesse said he felt it straight away. We stick him into the bench. Um, Alex is one who's been, he's trying to play through it at the moment. But, um, you know, he's, he's a bit of a problem there for a while. So, yeah, we'll have to monitor them and see how they're doing on Thursday. Darren and the Lewis management team, coaching team, are here tonight having a look. Massive game on Saturday, on Saturday at Woodside. Hopefully, it'll be a similar affair to when we went to the Griffin Plan a few months ago. Yeah, that was an unbelievable game, obviously, for us. Um, yeah, they'll be pleased with what they saw, no doubt. Chances to come to one side and beat us, uh, and have a game plan ready to do that. And, you know, it's almost like a defeat there in the dressing room because the standards that the players sort of set themselves, they know that that's not going to be acceptable uh, in the next two games. Um, you know, so uh, we've, we've got to find a way to be better. We're, we'll get to work Thursday and um, try and um, be better from Saturday. Congrats on the three points. Cheers, Cheers mate.